Hi everyone, I'm going to show you how to create a topic within your Flipgrid. So the first thing that you do is you go to the flipgrid.com page and you click on sign up today. When you sign up, click on that, it takes you to the screen and you want to sign up as an educator and you sign up with your Google account, your UMG Gmail account. Once you have an account, you will have a grid. Now I already have in my grid um, this is my grid and I already have a, a topic there as well but I'll show you what you need to do to create even your first one. So you click on the new topic, you add a title for your topic, so I'm going to call that favorite assessment. And you can decide how long you want this to be. It's preset to 90 seconds so we'll leave it at that. You can give them a tip if you want to um, and this is where you describe to them what to do. So uh, share your favorite assessment tool from Eduke 2000 and tell us why you like it and maybe how you might use it as a future teacher. So I've typed the directions there as well. Now as you, if you scroll on down you can moderate the video if you want to and you can make it active. Now one of the things that helps especially for young children is rather than just a text question you can record a video to tell them what you want to do. So I'm going to press record. Hi everyone I'd like you to share with us what your favorite assessment tool is that you've used in at Duke 2000 and why you like it and maybe even add in there how would you use it perhaps with your future students? So I click pause there and next. Hi everyone, I'd like you to share. And I see that it works, so I'm going to snap a selfie. So I smile for the camera and put an awful smile. Um, you can add uh, an, an emoticon, um, or I, I like the, where are we here? Let's see. Um, I like the animals. I like to put a, let's, uh, let's see what I want to put. I'm going to put a cat on my shoulder there. And you can resize the cat. Okay, there's my cat and I'm going to submit. So it's complete and I, what I can also add is I can um, change any of these different options and you can talk change how you set feedback for the students. But for now I'm going to keep it pretty simple and click create topic. And now what it shows me is that this is the link, direct link to the topic. And so I can get this link and use it within my course. So I'm going to say got it. And there it is. There is the, um, the, 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 the favorite assessment. It's active and students can see Hi everyone, I'd like you to show where it tells them what I want them to do. And so there it is. Once you've done that, what you need to do, of course, is to share the topic with your students. So you click share and you can embed it. You can use give the URL um, or you can put it into Google Classroom if you use Google Classroom. When students have got that, and you can also use a QR code. So when students have got that, they're able to go right in and to start participating. 